The 7th of November, the American College of Toxicology began their convention at the Marriott Baltimore waterfront. Outside were protesters with bullhorns outraged at the presence of Huntington Life Sciences, Covance, and other vivisectionists. Out the of our contract with the American College of Toxicology! You have failed to do so! We are here holding you and holding those inside accountable for over 180 million deaths animals a year! people to bring bullhorns to a hotel. Here's what happens inside Huntington Life Sciences. Standing up to these morons often means standing up to the cops, and Baltimore is no exception. Oh, that lie. Because we've heard that before, and I checked. I called various agencies, I called various services, and couldn't find those laws on the phone. Yeah, you can't use the amplifiers. You can you can stand here and do it. You can stand here and do it. I don't know. Go get it in writing and bring it back to me, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Ma'am, first, ma'am, first of all, I'm not giving you permission to take me or take my picture, okay? It's legal to take police officers in a public spot. Ma'am, um... I just told you, I'm not giving you permission to take me, okay? It's, it's, this is, this is a public area. You can't deny permission in a public area. If you don't want to be filmed in a public area, then you can't come to public areas. That's, that's and I'm telling you, sir, that you're free to do what, your You cannot use the amplifier, okay? And that's it. What's the law, then? It's disorderly conduct. People pay to, to come here to sleep, okay? To sleep. This is a hotel. Alright? Doesn't matter if it's 2 p.m. or 2, 2 a.m. If they pay to sleep, that's what they're here to do. If you want to do your demonstration, that's fine, but you cannot use the, the horns to do it. This is a, that's the bottom line. This is zoning now. This is, this is zoned at the business area. Yeah, that's okay. Well, they don't have a law. Like, he's asking us to bring a law because he says we're violating a law. I'm just curious. American College of Toxicology, you're polluting the land, polluting the water. American College of Toxicology, we're out here today because you, our hunting vivisectionist, such as hunting and life sciences, we do this possible for the death of 500 animals each and every day of the week. For products like bleach, blender, standing lotion in Alaska, and also other drugs like Bacon, which have gone on to kill people and hospitalize thousands. HLS has a global campaign against them. HLS is over a hundred million dollars in debt and trying to use this opportunity to network with pharmaceutical companies and other vivisectionists to make more profits. HLS! Shut them down! 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 HLS! You have to do the right thing, Marriott, which you should have done before we got here. You should have gave them that food. You didn't tell them no thanks. We don't want this poppy business. We don't want a bunch of murderers in our hotel. Drive me away, Simpson. We don't want to force protesters to come out here and protest us. But instead, you did. You kept them. And that ain't good. <laughs> and you may have got your cops to lie. Try to take away a bullhorn with no laws. They can't even say the law. They don't have one. We checked, but we're still out here. We're still going to be as loud as hell. We're going to annoy your customers. We're going to make sure that the American College of Climatology ain't coming back here. We have had several phone conversations with your general manager, Ed Rosinski, and he has vowed that he used the Marriott will not allow the American College of Toxicology Conference at this hotel. To the Marriott, to Ed Rosinski, we're going to keep on this. Keep